Welcome to my 2100th video. I thought I'd give you an update of the progress in expanding the Daytona International Speedway. Now this uh, is scheduled to end in uh, January 2016, so it has a while to go. And construction started before the uh, inaugural race this year, so it's uh, a couple year run here in the uh, construction. But it's a $400 million project, so uh, a lot of it has to do with, uh, of course, this structure that you see. Structure both on the uh, northeast and the uh, northwest quadrants of the uh, of the racetrack. But a lot of it has to do with the uh, technical aspects of uh, fiber optic cabling and copper the wiring that goes on for uh, broadcast purposes. I thought I'd leave some of the sound track on in this part so you get an idea of the construction noise. The track started in uh, 1959. Before that they had racing on the sand at Daytona, at Daytona Beach, so this was <laughs> quite, a, quite a change. And this is a major investment by NASCAR. In a minute I'm going to take you on a little bit of a walking tour towards the main gate. Now this is early on a Friday morning, Friday the, the 28th of uh, March. And I'm going in here to see a, uh, a show that involves not only a flea market for automotive parts, but also uh, cars for sale and uh, and cars that are uh, on exhibit by the various car clubs and by private individuals. Now here's a look at some of the ground level activity. Lots of heavy equipment here. I got uh, about 20 videos uh, from uh, about a four and a half hour stay here, so I was very well pleased. Lots of cool cars that I would never ordinarily see. And that's the advantage of getting out and about. If you stay in your locale, then you tend to see the same cars over and over. Not that that's a bad thing, but if you're trying to expose an audience to a wide variety of cars, at least something to be desired. So that's why I like coming to these shows. Now, this is the uh, grandstand. And you can see the track there and some of the tire marks on the track. The old days, it was phenomenal. And I'm um, looking down towards the uh, northwest sector of the track. We started out in the northeast sector. Now we're see the folks are are filtering in to see the show. Now we're going back to the area where I entered in the uh, northeast sector. Now here's a pit area and uh, in this area are some old racing cars. Now I took videos of some of these cars a couple of years ago. And here are more pit areas over on this side. The banking on those curves doesn't appear to be much from this viewpoint, but believe me, when you're there you see at the curve you see quite a bit of banking. Now here is the overall construction all on the uh, north side of the track. And that's a Mercury Cougar and I used to have one just like that. Now I had a 1990. So that's like old home week there. So I hope you enjoyed it and believe me I want to thank you all for your 
viewership, your comments, and I learn a lot from your comments too. It's a two-way street with uh, educational enterprise here on this channel. These are the stands on the south side of the track, not nearly as immense as on the other side. There is a lake on the other side of that too, by the way. Lake Lloyd.